You too. You too. What's good, family? Yeah. I know. I said uh, Savage Green was over with until that get running. But uh, as you see, Savage Green is under construction again. Well, I found the alternator for sort of a deal I couldn't refuse. So there it is. I'm trying to put alternator on there. Well, my pulley was too big, as we know, on my 250. So I got a smaller pulley off the 270. I got a smaller pulley off the 270 that burn up. And I'm going to try to put on the 250. Well, the shaft won't fit, so I got to drill it out a little bit, but keep it perfect. So that's one thing. I got the new 320 mounted. So now I got to try to change that pulley and see if I can get the belt back on. I put that there for a spacer and so I can ground to the uh, chassis of the alternator. So it's serving its double purpose. And I think I pretty much got them lined up. I tried the belt before I pulled that pulley off. I think I got everything lined up pretty straight. So hopefully when I change this pulley, the belt will actually fit. If not, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board as far as figuring out what size belt I need. Because uh, this belt right here is way, way too long. <laughs> I mean, like, way, way too long. And this belt right here is barely too short. And I got another belt in the truck that's also too short. So, yeah. If I can't get this one to work with this pulley, then, like I said, back to the drawing board on um, figuring out a belt. But, um, yeah, man. Oh, man. I hope this works out. I hope this pulley corrects the problem with charging at idle, for one. I hope this pulley corrects the problem with the belt size, for two. And, overall, I hope that Makes my fucking voltage perfect. <laughs> but um, as some of you may know, this is a, a raggy, if I pronounce that right, 320. See the coals in it look kind of good. He swear it was lightweight new. Like very, very, very light used. I got a deal you can't refuse. So I had to try, especially knowing my situation with my alternators. So. If this one works out, then I only need to get one more to replace that one down there because uh, we know it's just on there for the belt, but whatever. Like I said, if this one works out, I only need to get one more and Savage Green should be up and running. And no, I don't plan on buying one more anytime soon. I only bought this one because the deal was just crazy and I couldn't refuse it. So that's the only reason I bought this. Otherwise, I would not be doing anything Savage Green, but... On to this guy. I got to order motor mounts, transmission mounts, and a clutch cable. And I have this back in motion. So that's the only reason why I'm not working on it because I need the parts, especially the clutch cable, because I can't even disengage the clutch or anything. So I need a clutch cable. The whole thing, the whole plastic sleeve popped off of it when I tried to adjust it because it wasn't fully in, uh, disengaging to where you could shift it in gear when I try to drive it. So like I said, order the parts and we're back on that. Make sure y'all stay tuned in. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments, man, what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see more Sandwich Green? Y'all want to see more of the JDM and Terry? Let me know, man. And let me know if y'all would like to sleep, see more lives. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for checking us out. Let's get it.